Okay, time for Zenith Daimyo Hermitar. I've already fought him before. It was during New Year's though, and so there was a lot of fireworks going off. So I figured I'd uh, do it again. And showcase the fight. Now that I've gotten a bit better at it. But he's actually pretty tough. Um, he's got a lot of new interesting moves. Can turn around now. Still got his uh, water laser. But that's new. Can basically just go come diving at you. Oh crap. Forgot. I usually always get hit by the first part of that. So yeah, you can kind of like blast forward. Which is pretty cool. You can parry it, so it's not too much of an issue. But yeah. I really like the way his claws look. They just look like shells. Crap. I need to be careful. Um, I need heal. Crap. <laughs> Healing animation is just a bit too long. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, no, I got lucky. Oh, well, didn't get lucky there. <sighs> okay. Alright. Being annoying now. This is after I've gotten better at this. I was just getting hit all the time. Crap. Bad positioning. There's <sighs> not much I can do about that though. Kind of, it's just random where he goes whenever he jumps into the air like that. I can never tell like where he's trying to actually land in advance. Oh crap, I need to leave. He's transitioning, and now he gets, he still has the same moves, but they have Blast now. So that's something to watch out for. But once you know what his moves are, it's pretty easy to just... Uh, avoid them. You just kind of have to be careful of the blast from his claws. Crap. Okay. Oh boy, this is good. Oh my god, I actually parried that. I didn't think I was going to be able to make that. Crap. Okay. I need to back off and heal. No, I have the opportunity to. I did not want to dive. Um, get me out of there. Man, I love that. Crap. Oh, come on now. I had a feeling I was going to hit. Oh, uh, that also hits. Not gonna lie, I don't think I've seen that move before. Yep, I want to get away, so that way I don't have to deal with the uh, tremors afterwards. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, that could have been dangerous. And we'll do that so we can get away, come back in. Get me out of there. Okay. Transform me back. Nice. Got the parry. I'm in. Okay. 
Getting some attacks. Oh, okay, I was expecting uh, to get hit again, so I parry twice. But as long as he does the sweep water stream that he does, instead of just the straight line, as long as he does the sweep, um, I can avoid being hit there. But if he does the straight line, I can't really avoid getting hit, unfortunately. And also, his claws are really hard to break. And in fact, I don't even think I've managed to break them in any of the hunts I've done against him. But I've only done like I had like two maybe. Okay. Oh crap! I kind of did not want to do that. Okay, this isn't good. Okay, well, at the very least he turned around. So that's not terrible luck on my part. Also, I am wearing the Tigrex armor. I did fight Tigrex a lot. And I'm using the Tigrex weapon. And it's pretty good. Crap. Ah. Ended up landing behind me, unfortunately. Cannot parry things that are behind you. can if they're off to the side. Oh no. Get me out of there. That will constantly do hits and you kind of can't do anything about it. So your only option really is to just leave. Which is fine, but it got me killed several times. Not knowing that, I couldn't parry it. Because uh, you can parry like the first part when he's going underground, but like, um, you'll constantly get hit by debris whenever he's digging. And it'll stun you to death, basically. But yeah, Zenith Diving Herbitar is pretty cool. I like his claws a lot, though. And he's got. An interesting looking skull. But yeah, he's pretty cool. He's probably, I'd say, one of the better Zenith monsters that I've fought in so far. Not like anything that he does that's too ridiculous um, or obnoxious. So it's pretty fun. Man, I am moving. Anyways, that's pretty much it.